With different chores to do to keep the home front going, it's easy to complain, get irritated, overwhelmed, feel unappreciated, and not even feel very much like your life is moving forward because you need to take care of things in the home front. But hey, listen up. You can do this. I'm rooting for you. And you can very much enjoy fellowshipping with the Lord and cover your home with prayers daily as you go about your daily routine. For me, when I fold laundry, I use the opportunity to pray over the members of my family and to pray over my life. That's like using one stone to effectively kill two birds. Sometimes I use the opportunity to meditate on scriptures that I read during my quiet time in the early hours of the morning or I listen to a podcast or motivational message or pep talk. Today I'll be sharing some scriptures I use to pray over my family when I fold laundry. So if you have laundry that needs to be done and you've been procrastinating or you have something that needs to be done, I just encourage you to say these prayers over your life, your health, your husband, and your children. Psalms 107 verse 1, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Thank you, Father, for the gift of a home. Thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of sound health. Thank you for the gift of my husband. Thank you for the gift of my children. I give you thanks, O Lord, because your steadfast love endures forever over our lives. Proverbs 31 verse 23. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. The Message Bible puts it this way. Her husband is greatly respected when he deliberates with the city fathers. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree over my husband, you shall be known at the gates. You shall see to where decisions that are important will be made. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, according to the book of Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2 and 3, the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that the Spirit of wisdom rest upon you. The Spirit of God rest upon you. The strength of the Lord come into your spirit, man. I declare that the wisdom of God, the wisdom to make right decisions, the wisdom of the Lord to lead the family forward in the way of the Lord rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of understanding. The Lord make you a man of quick understanding. In the name of Jesus, the wisdom to lead the home in the right direction. The wisdom of the Lord to lead the children in the way of the Lord. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I declare over you in the name of Jesus that the spirit of counsel is at work in your life. Yes, the spirit of might is at work in your life. The spirit of might at work in your body. You are whole from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. The spirit of knowledge rests upon you. In the name of Jesus, the fear of the Lord. The spirit of the fear of the Lord rests upon you. The fear of the Lord guide your thoughts, your decisions, your relationships. In the name of Jesus, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. I declare that your spirit is walking in consonance with the spirit of the Lord. You have quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. You shall not judge after the sight of the eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of the ears. But with righteousness shall you judge the poor. In the name of Jesus I declare over your life that the spirit of righteousness rests upon you. The spirit of discernment, the spirit of discernment, being able to understand times and seasons, like the sons of Issachar, in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are known at the gate and you sit among the elders of the land. In your profession you excel. By the power of the Holy Spirit you are above only and you are not below. Thank you, Father. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. 
prayer over our children. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. The Message Bible says, Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had holy plans for you. A prophet to the nations, that's what I had in mind for you. Thank you, Father, for my sons and my daughters. Thank you, Jesus, because you knew them before they were formed. And you consecrated them and you appointed them. I declare in the name of Jesus that they understand their purpose on earth. They will fulfill the purpose of God for their lives according to God's divine ordinance. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that they love the Lord with their heart, with their souls, with their mind. I declare in the name of Jesus that they walk in line with the purpose of God for their existence. They fulfill the plan of God. They discover it and they walk in it. They are not dissuaded. They are not distracted. They are children filled with the Spirit of God. They walk with focus. They walk in accordance to the plan of God for their destiny. In the name of Jesus, I declare that they are the prophets of their generation. Just like Moses was the voice of God in his time, and Samuel was the voice of God in his time, I declare that they are the sons of God and the daughters of God in their generation. They are able to discern what heaven is saying per time, and they walk in line with it, bringing light to their generation. I declare that the darkness of their generation shall not overtake them. I declare that they walk in the light of God. They walk in revelation. I declare that their gifts bring them before kings and they sit before great men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 14, Houses and wealth are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Oh, I declare over my life, I am an intentional woman. I am a deliberate woman. I am wise. I am careful. I am discerning. My speech and my behavior is not rash. I am discerning. I am discreet. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I shall not die. I shall live to declare the good works of the Lord in the land of the living. I declare that I am a prudent wife. According to Proverbs 31, I am a virtuous woman. I am more than a conqueror. I win in the battles of life. The mercies of the Lord prevail in my life, in my body. My health will not break down. My spirit man receives information from heaven per time for my family. In the mighty name of Jesus.